You were the one who helped her then, Mr. Grosby? Uh, y yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No, no, please, d don't mention it. Tail six. Never for her, I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that case have anything to do with Miss Tailsworth? There's everything to do with Miss Tailsworth, my dear. The victim in the DLC incident was none other than his father, Gregory Ellsworth. Well, what? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Well, bye. You go leave. What's this? I was hoping you'd got in my message the first time. Yes, Worth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Yes, Worth, it's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You are all single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you'll always see it free, don't you? But the DL6 incident, right, DL6. I didn't want you... want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend it. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from deal set, so do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now very well. Ask what if you like and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident. The DL6 incident when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. Care fixed. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. There was an attorney but the name of Robert Hammond that cleared him of the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim of the Gold Lake murder, correct? Um that spirit medium, that was my mum. What? You mean you It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end and now it does. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The Statue of Limitations on the case runs out in... Three days. What? Uh, Nick, what does that mean? When a case statute of limitation runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL sets will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect, the one who got off in innocent? I don't know, he disappeared from public free. Phew, no one knows where he... Where he... I don't know. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he's going to hide it. It's hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in a big case. Um, so what was your father, so was your father a lawyer? He was. 
Gregory as well. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? Of course we will. Ah, uh, who would have seen? Guess this day will come. Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember if I'm doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you really don't need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Very well, well, I guess we should. Well, what's that? Earthquake, Nick. It's a big one. Wow. It's coming down. Phew. That was scary. Huh? Where's this worth? There. He's on the floor in the ball surfing. Guess he doesn't do well with earthquakes. I heard of running, but curling up in the ball. Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Ellsworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Ellsworth a letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Well, couldn't have more affairs. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, since he's come to talk to y'all after him what Mr. I had to say. What's all this about, pal? Lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Ellsworth the death sentence, pal? No, 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 I'm just, I mean, see, they see something, so... There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh, you trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Oh, God. So, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Ellsworth fire the pistol. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you can't really tell who, from the photo who is it. Is it? That's why she says she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of me, but so let us see who's who. She can do that. Okay, so there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows us with and that. Great, just great. In any case, it's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well... Apparently there was a cancellation. Cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow's gonna be life or death for poor Mr. Ellsworth. We go at Nessie who says he saw the fame moment of the murder. We go photograph take him when the shot rang up. Say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case, but wait. What do me used to say if he's innocent there's going to be something I feel for luck? It sounds like Mr. Ellsworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was going to, I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time pal, go talk to him again for me please. You have to convince him, you have to make him let you defend him please. I know you're the only one who can do it pal. You're the only one who can save my stairs worth. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to find those papers. I'll wrap them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Wait. We're fine. We've I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Ellsworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overact a little. No, you mentioned it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to check on him. You two go 
eat and get rest for your child tomorrow later. I wonder I wonder what it is worth must it's worth and earthquakes, I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in 4th grade, he transferred to North School after that, I wonder what happened to his work. Anyway, that's going to end off this episode, I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye.